Let's bring in Jessica Ehrlich. She's a Florida-based Democratic strategist, and Ron Christie, former special assistant to President George W. Bush. Look, uh, there are firestorms right and left, but smack in the middle. You guys, this is not a red or blue issue. This is babies born with brain damage, and now a new study, Jessica, that shows there will be severe joint deformities. And I see this. Texas, with 97 cases, just had a baby die yesterday from Zika. Uh, Donald Trump has a house in Mar-a-Lago in Florida, so he's almost a second state resident there. This is a big deal, is it not, Jessica? I'll give it to you first. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I really, as a Floridian and someone who's, you know, living here in St. Petersburg, I'm so glad that you're focusing on this, particularly today. I mean, it's been one horrible situation after the next, and we've seen across the board Republican and Democrats from the state of Florida. Our entire congressional delegation has actually been coming together, everyone from Marco Rubio to Alan Grayson, calling on Congress to actually come back early from recess because it is a travesty that they did not get some sort of funding passed before they went out on recess. They're not going to be back till after Labor Day. Rick Scott is, you know, he's a very conservative. I do not agree with him on most things. He's our Republican governor here, and he is literally begging for the resources we need because so, you know as well as I do, we just went through a day and a half where we had a deluge here in Tampa Bay area. It rained right. nonstop. And, and the and mosquitoes Ron, are out of control. Ron, I get accused of blowing things out of proportion. Is that this? But I look at this and I say, wait a minute. You now have a death of a baby in Texas, far from Florida. Granted, it was not, it was travel related. Somebody right got it elsewhere and then they brought it in but now and and by the way Adam had just mentioned we're waiting on the 47th state mm -hmm. that's Idaho yeah Idaho, not known for massive amounts of mosquitoes here. No. Look, this is deadly serious, Liz, and this is something that Republicans, Democrats, independents, our politicians, they need to address this in a nonpartisan manner. There is $353 million of Ebola funding that can be reprogrammed right now to deal with Zika. Why aren't they doing that? But could it be a political football right now? Of course now? it's a political football. How about football? an October surprise? Of course it's a political football, and of course we're looking for an October surprise. Look, these guys need to recognize, as you just said, people are dying. People are being told if you're pregnant, you're a woman, and you're in Miami, stay indoors. Don't go outside. This is affecting people's very livelihoods, and I'm frankly tired of it. Jessica, 29 electoral votes. Florida is a key battleground state, as we know. It tends to always be. At what point do you think of both of these candidates, Hillary's addressed it, Donald Trump says leave it to the states, but at what point do you think both of these candidates start really pressing for some answers to deal with this? Well, I think we're going to see that in the. I mean, Hillary was just here on Monday in St. Petersburg. She's been traveling all over the state because she knows she has got to carry the state of Florida in order to win the election. It is absolutely crucial for either candidate. And, you know, this is one of those issues that really hits particularly with independents and with women mm -hmm. because they're, you know, the ones most affected, particularly in the state of Florida. We, I mean, kids just went back to school here today. You cannot go, you have mosquitoes mm -hmm. in your home. You can't stay in your house and that's going to keep that. This is Florida. And, uh, you work for we George Bush, Bush Ron. <laughs> exactly. You work for George Bush. He gave a lot of funding, millions of dollars for AIDS in Africa, not here because he saw the travel patterns. Yes, and I think that's going to go down as being one of the stronger aspects of his legacy of helping save millions of lives. Our politicians need to save these folks' lives. Why isn't President Obama using his executive authority to have the FDA speed up clinical trials? There's so many other things that could be going on, but this is getting into politics exactly where it should.